Kurtz Kazaa, man, we got another video, you feel me? The reason why cancer is so hard to beat, or so they say, you know what I'm saying? Because let's be real, but let me ask y'all a question. Do you guys really think there's a cure out here for cancer? And be real, you know what I'm saying? Do you guys, do you guys think they're they hiding the cure to this because it's making them money? You feel me? It's making all these different uh, organizations, companies, and all this stuff money. And they don't want to, you know, release the cure of cancer because obviously the money they they would make won't be a lot, if that any. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you guys think. I think there's a cure out there, bro. I really do. If not, I think there's a lot of things to help tone it down or stop it from getting uh, worse and stuff like that. You feel me? But I really, I truly feel like there is something out there that can cure it, man. Ah. Uh, Cancer, what you talk about? Let's go. An undead city under siege. Soldiers and police ruthlessly shooting down waves of zombies. That and it's crazy too, bro. I started thinking of this uh, randomly. I think it was like two days ago. Um, the whole how they came up with a vaccine for uh, Bovid, you feel me? Like within months time, I guess. And they did that. You know what I'm saying? What well, what's the research in the in the in the the fast cure to cancer then? You feel me? I just started thinking about that, bro. Mad random, I know, but like, I, I, I don't know. The siege. Soldiers and police ruthlessly shooting down waves of zombies that flood from infected streets, trying to escape and infect more cities. This is what happens when your body fights cancer. More exciting than any movie. How does this battle for survival unfold? Crazy, bro. Fuck cancer. One, the elimination phase. It all begins with a single corrupted cell. It's no longer able to repair its genetic code. It can't kill itself anymore, and it's beginning to multiply rapidly. At this point, things are not great, not terrible. This cell is not yet dangerous, but if nothing happens, it soon will be. Over a few weeks, the corrupted cell keeps making copies of itself. One cell turns into dozens, hundreds, thousands. Because the original was broken, its copies are breaking and mutating even more. They turn into different genetic lineages, clans that are working together and competing. Some mutate in a way that makes them weaker, others' mutations don't change anything, while a few become fitter and better at survival. Together, they now form a tiny, tiny tumor. Not cancer yet, but getting there. No. The growing tumor needs a lot of resources. If the cells don't get food and oxygen... Hey, man. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie. This, this, like... This set my mood low, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Just thinking about cancer and all the people affected by it and shit. You feel me? It's so fucking unfortunate. But please, 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 please go to your doctor's ASAP. Get you some blood work done. Get your body checked, bro. Check everything in your system. Make sure everything is smooth. You hear me? Make sure everything is smooth. If you've been having pain in the slightest way on your fingers, on your arms, your elbow, your, the back of your neck, go get it checked. You know what I'm saying? If it's a headache, go get it checked, bro. Get yourself checked. That's just scary. They'll die and the problem just solves itself. Unfortunately, a few corrupted cells unlock a new mutation that saves them. The ability to order the growth of new blood vessels. And so your body provides the supply they need to survive. But as the tumor continues to grow, it starts causing damage. Neighboring healthy cells begin to starve and die, which attracts attention. In a sense, this tiny tumor is like a rogue town. Imagine a group of rebels in Brooklyn decide that they're no longer part of New York and start a new settlement called Tumortown, which happens to occupy the same space. The new city wants to grow, so it orders tons of steel beams, cement and drywall. New buildings follow no logic, are badly planned, ugly and dangerously crooked. They're built right in the middle of streets, on top of playgrounds and on existing infrastructure. The old neighborhood is torn down or overbuilt to make room for new stuff. Many of the former residents are trapped in the middle of it and begin to starve. This goes on for a while until the smell of death finally attracts attention. Building inspectors and police show up. 
in your body, attracted by the stench of dead cells, your immune system is activated. Yeah. First responder immune cells invade the tumor. Macrophages and natural killer cells, police forces that go right to work killing and eating tumor cells. They release chemical signals that let the whole immune system know that there is cancer to be eradicated. Dendritic cells, the intelligence officers of your immune system, collect samples of dead tumor cells and begin activating your heavy weapons, helper and killer T cells. We explained mm. these specialized super weapons in another video, but Sheesh. all you really need to know is that they have a library listing every bad thing that could come into your body. While each cancer is unique, there are genetic corruptions that they can't hide, and your T cells know what to look for. They are the deadliest cancer killers you have. Nice, By the time nice. they arrive, the tumor has grown to hundreds of thousands of cells, but this is about to change. T cells block the growth of new blood vessels, which starves thousands of tumor cells and puts an end to their growth. Imagine the building inspectors switching off electricity and water and putting up roadblocks to Cancer Town so no more food or materials can yeah, be yeah, delivered. Yeah. With nice. no way to hide from the carnage unfolding, the tumor collapses as hundreds of thousands of tumor cells are massacred. Their carcasses are cleaned up and consumed by macrophages that then order healthy tissue to regenerate. Your body nice. has crushed the illegal tumor town. Bro, it's crazy because he's making this, the way he's like putting all of this together, the information, it sounds like it's, it's just, it's fixable, it's curable type shit, you feel me? Like we have these things in our bodies that fight the cancer off and all this. But then it's like sometimes it doesn't always work or you don't have you don't produce enough of it and all and all this stuff right it's, uh, it's just crazy bro it, it, it's just crazy and without mercy you'll never know about this fight or how many times this has happened inside your body except in this case something didn't go as planned two the equilibrium phase Unfortunately, natural selection spores your victory. By doing its best to destroy the tumor, your immune system accidentally selects the fittest tumor cells. Remember, the tumor consists of different lineages that keep growing and keep mutating. Yep. Most of these are eradicated, but just a few are more resilient. One cell survives, it comes from the fittest tumor lineage and was just a bit better at surviving the massacre than anyone else. It decides to do it all over again, but better this time. This tumor cell is much stronger than any of the thousands that were killed. Maybe it's better at hiding or fighting back. Maybe it grows faster or is better at stealing resources. Maybe it can survive with much less oxygen. And so it all begins again. It's like the surviving Bruh. rebels that started Tumor Town have learned their lessons. <laughs> now they know the law better and how to break it, what permits help them, and how to avoid the police. And so the surviving tumor cell makes thousands of copies that mutate and form new lineages until once again, a tumor has grown made up of more resilient cells. The immune system doesn't care though, and this time it even has experience. Instead of starting with police, SWAT teams go right in to tear tumor town down, killing its inhabitants without mercy. But once again, they don't get everyone. One of them survives, a fitter tumor cell from an already fitter lineage. This time, it gets a cheap suit and studies the building code, pretending to be a lawyer to start Tumor Town all over again. This struggle now repeats a few times. Each time, the rebels learn a bit more about how to avoid the law. If at any point the immune system gets all of the tumor cells, the story ends. But in this case, it doesn't. Yeah. Finally, a tumor cell changes in a way that makes it properly dangerous cancer. The type that kills people. How? Immune cells have an off switch that oh, oh my God. deactivates them before they can attack, which in principle <laughs> is a good idea. The immune system is extremely dangerous and in many cases it needs to be shut down, like around your central nervous system. But this off switch can be exploited. The mutated tumor cell finds a way to switch the immune system off by targeting inhibitor receptors on anti-cancer cells. Inhibitor receptors stop immune cells from, well, killing. This cell is now the powerful founder of a new lineage of cancer cells and mass produces thousands of new copies that once again change and mutate further, building yet another tumor town. 3. The escape phase. The new cancer cells have become immune to the immune system and everything is different this time. Tumor town has... 
Yeah, my fault for being so fucking quiet, bro. It's, 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 it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. This, this is people's lives we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that, you know, these companies, organizations, the government, and all these people are trying to, like, hide the... Pretty much hide everything, the truth and everything. <clears throat> you know? Like... I just... I know for a fact, bro. I just... I don't know. I just know there's a cure to cancer, bro. Or at least something to really, really help it slow with the fuck down. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, again, this is people's lives we're talking about and for some money y'all just willing not to like ex like let the truth out and let people like just die i don't know man it's been rebuilt even uglier and stranger than before but now the cancer city council has forged all sorts of permits as building inspectors come to shut down construction they get confused Stunned, they wander off, unable to order the destruction of the sprawling buildings. Police try to enter the illegal city to arrest the builders and execute inhabitants. But this time, Tumor Town has erected its own roadblocks that keep the law from entering. Confused officers stand around helplessly. As Tumor Town slowly envelops the former Brooklyn and more and more civilians die, T-cell SWAT teams arrive to end this travesty. But things get worse. New lineages of Tuba Town officials have started to forge court documents that order police to shoot at the SWAT teams. What the cancer cells are doing at this point is actively shutting down immune defenses by sending corrupt signals. The now malignant tumor is no longer a pushover and has begun creating the cancer microenvironment, a sort of borderland that's hard to cross. All avenues of attack have been shut down and uncontrollable growth is the consequence. This is a dangerous tumor. Cells that are strong and able to fight push your immune system back and expand further. If more mutations happen, then some of the cancer cells will begin to explore the world and expand into other tissues to build new towns. And this is exactly what makes cancer so harmful. It's taking up space and stealing so many nutrients that your true self has no room to function anymore. No. If this goes on for too long, organs will shut down. But this tactic is a dead end. The more successful cancer gets, the more damage it does to its world. When the body dies, the cancer dies too. It truly is a game without winners. Except humanity is planning to win this game. At this very moment, hundreds of thousands of scientists are working on new and better ways of killing cancer to destroy and burn down tumor towns for good. In recent years, immunotherapy has made enormous progress. It's a relatively new therapy in which your own immune cells are modified to kill cancer better than any medicine can do. Oh, okay, okay. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, bro. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I didn't know that. It's like giving your building inspectors machine guns and flamethrowers. But this is a story for another time. For now, cancer is a battleground. But if human ingenuity is to be trusted, then one day, maybe in the not too distant future, we will eradicate it once and for all. This video was made fucking hopefully, man. Possible in part by direct viewer support and in part through a grant by Hopefully, bro. Again, this is people lives we're talking about, bro. Families, friends. They're affected by losing a loved one due to cancer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Really appreciate how you're <clears throat> spreading information on cancer in such a comprehensive and visually stunning way. It's important that more people are educated. Yes, sir. I'm a non-smoker stage four lung cancer patient. I'm taking a targeted medicine, which was approved in 2014. Thank you all, the medical professionals, for literally saving lives. Also, thank you. Thank you, the channel staff, for making this video. I'll share my friends and family for sure. Wow. Father was diagnosed with stage four kidney cancer in October of last year. Thanks to immune therapy, he was fighting. He has a fighting chance at living a few more good years as the tumor in his lungs are pretty much gone or dead and the main one in his kidney is arrested. This cancer doesn't respond to chemotherapy and if it weren't such rapidly involving immune therapies, he likely wouldn't be here today. Great video. Wow, see, bro? Affecting people, bro. A goody friend of mine died last year due to cancer. He kept coming back since then. Seeing videos like this always makes me think of him. I wish that we had the cure sooner. See, bro, just look. 
Hence the reason, not to say this is the reason, but like it's, it's bound to happen, bro. People think of cancer, their mood changes. They get dull, they get sad. They start thinking about people they've lost or people who they know have it. And look, just a bunch of comments telling their story. You feel me? It's fucking scary, bro. That's fucking scary, man. I really hope the truth is exposed, man. Or, you know what I'm saying? There's something out there for cancer that, that kills that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but yeah, hey, let me know what you guys thought, man. Get yourself checked by any fucking means, bro. Put your health first. Health is wealth. Okay? Let me know what you guys thought. I saw your reaction. If y'all enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. I'm out.